say in December of 08, of 08, is when we started writing Dash Jacket songs. But it wasn't until, like, I think July of 09 that we actually played shows. Yeah. And we just kind of recorded. I lived in uh, Northern California, and he lived down here for a while, and so we just kind of, like, sent song ideas back and forth via the internet. Okay, man. Yeah, about a year later, we playing with just guitar and drums live is kind of uh, restrictive in what you can do sound-wise, and so we brought in the bass, and uh, it's, we're, it's, we sound so much better. Yeah. It's unbelievable how much better we are with Paul. <laughs> Initially, it was a lot of punk songs, or punk bands. Like yeah. our last band was. Um... It was a lot of things, but it was very influenced by like, kind of like, like I don't know, like folky. Yeah. Folk 60s pop. pop, pastoral pop. Yeah, like kinks. Sixties folk pop and nineties folk pop. Yeah. yeah. It was influenced by those things. And so for this band, we just kind of went the exact opposite way. You just think of that. A lot of, uh, a lot of Ramones and Wire and the Urinals, and Minutemen, short songs, as short as we can go. Our last tour, we we uh, almost ran out of gas while lost in San Francisco. That was fun. Plus yeah, Matt, oh yeah, and Matt is colorblind, so he couldn't tell the difference between stoplights and uh, street lights. Well, before we had we had Paul, it was like it was a it was a big challenge to. Um, I know Paul is like the the, the center of the band now, <laughs> but like when it was just the two of us, it was really difficult to um, figure out how to have just two instruments and still keep it full. And I think it's still, that is a, that is something that challenges us. Because it's still like just guitar, bass, and drums, <clears throat> and vocals. We could just, have a hundred guitars and a hundred basses and a hundred drummers. It sound, I think we'd still be. Uh, it's, it sounds really full, but I think that that challenge is part of the fun.